What's up everybody and welcome to another motorhome tour. Today we're checking out the 2021 Newmar Ventana 4326 floor plan. This one is listed for $399,000 which makes this beautiful motorhome one of the best under $400,000 price tag. Big thanks to Dennis Dillon RV for allowing us to tour it. Let's check it out. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. First off, this motorhome looks so modern and contemporary. I love this frameless windshield design up front. We have the generator here. It has a Cummins engine, 8.9 liter. And coming here, we have the front door. So I guess quickly show this one before. We're gonna step inside later in the video. Doorbell. I like that detail. Nice Stairs come down, super cool. Two slide outs and we have motorized awning design above. And the frameless design continues here as well with the windows. And down below, we have all these storage areas, pull out trays for the easy access. And above that, on this slide out, we have an outdoor TV with a sound bar. And continuing our tour, we have more storage areas, pegboard for your tools and everything you need. And looking up again, we have the awnings, kickouts. This rear axle turns. So it helps your turning radius. Is that pretty common? We've seen that in like- It's not that common. We've seen it in like two RVs, but we've toured some very nice RVs before. That is correct, Mikey. We've toured some really nice RVs. Yeah. It's not that common, but premium models uh, have it. Yeah, tighter turning radius. That's right. And you have some batteries here, hydraulic access, pretty straightforward. Coming back to this side, the rear of this motorhome is very modern. I love the spoiler design and they actually tucked in the rear backup camera right underneath. We have the engine access here, uh, 15,000 pound tow hook. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's go around, Mikey. We have more storage areas here. Massive slide out with another awning design. Something about these frameless windows. They look very sleek. I like that. And that's your wet bay, meaning all your plumbing hookups, water. You have a little bit of an outdoor shower there, uh, your dirty water. It's where all that happens. Yeah. Now let's continue. We have the generator tray access on the other side, more batteries, and we have an access panel right underneath the driver's section. Pretty straightforward. Again, I love the modern lines. It looks so sleek and elegant. And Mikey, let's step inside. Let's do it. So we have the main entry here. As soon as you open up the door, stairs come down. You have a screen door here as well. That way you can get some ventilation, doorbell, I just love this detail. I can't get over it with a keypad. I would never consider to put a, put a doorbell on an RV, but I, I like it. I don't know why I, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Absolutely. You have the stairs here. Even these are storage areas. Talking about making the best use out of the space. And uh, let's step inside. Let's continue our tour. We have the passenger seat here with a wireless charger. I love that detail. You even have a little desk set up here for the passenger seat. Mike, I'm gonna take a seat on the driver's side. Wow, it's so comfortable. Let me get a little space here. The dashboard looks like I'm about to run an army tank. You have multiple screens, control hydraulics, another wireless charger here. And uh, you have your equalizer system over here for the hydraulics and leveling. Definitely spacious, I mean, this feels serious. Volume is definitely there. And this window is just so massive. Let me just turn around my angle here so y'all can see. And again, we're here in Dennis Dillon RV, Santa Ana. If you're curious or want to learn more about motorhomes, even if you're not considering to buy right now, I highly encourage, come out here, talk to the people, check out some motorhomes. Mikey knows ever since we came out here this morning, I've been literally checking out all these RVs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting excited. I may consider buying one of these. Yeah, next time we drive to Miami or something, let's get one. Absolutely. Let's turn around and give the grand reveal. Look at the space. I mean, it is spacious. I think for $400,000, this is the biggest motorhome in terms of interior square footage I've ever seen. So spacious, all the way to the bedroom setup. We have a full-size uh, couch here. It's a pull-out bed also. Upper cabinets. I love that all the AC diffusers and details are kind of nicely blended in. This one has a really nice lighter color palette and it really makes the space feel warm and inviting. You have another couch here, motorized TV, upper cabinets, sound bar. 
Ceilings are nicely clad with recessed lighting and this material. And coming here, you have your full-size kitchen. Mikey, let's show everyone all the details. So we have this induction cooktop. Now, do you know why I wanted to pull this out? Because, Mikey, what? it's portable. What it's is... also your outdoor stuff. Wait, what do you mean? Does it? Just you can't use it outdoors. It just plugs in? To... That's right. Really? Yep. That's I told cool. you I got fun facts for today. Yeah. I love this thing. Um, let's see. We have the sink here, cabinets, uppers, microwave, and they're full size. I mean, this is a good size sink also. Look at how much countertop space you have. Those frameless windows that we saw outside. More windows here, of course. They're all motorized. You have your blackouts, awning windows on the bottom for some ventilation, and the ceiling heights here. Look, I'm so comfortable. You have a small dinette here, your dining room table that can be extended out, and uh, more storage areas your full-size fridge. I feel like every corner I turn, I want to point something out. Yeah, uh, I, I talked about this with Ennis earlier, but yeah, you're going straight for it. I love how RVs and yachts have these locking mechanisms on all the cabinets and refrigerator doors and everything, so. Or the magnets, right? When you're underway, they're not swinging around, you know? Absolutely. Now, we're used to this detail. Pocket door here, sealing off the bedroom. We have more cabinets on this side, but if you actually open these accordion doors, you can see that it's a bunk bed setup and each one of these bunk beds has their own TV, own window, super cozy or you can use it as an extra storage right across from the bunk beds. Mikey, why don't you step inside? We basically have a half bathroom, toilet, vessel sink around the corner, cabinets, window, skylight for some ventilation. Awesome. Now some of you might be like, this is this is kind of a tight bathroom, but just wait until you see the one for the primary bedroom back here. It's crazy. Oh, absolutely. Mikey. We have a sliding door here, opening up to the king size bed. So spacious. I don't know if it's me, but like it feels so comfortable to be here. Yeah. And I'm gonna lay on this bed to give everyone a full review. Ennis, I wanna stay here. Yeah, and this is six foot seven. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot tall, but uh, I mean, I would be very comfortably here. We got tons of storage. And again, something about this lighter tone. It just gives it a nice warmth. It's just, um, it feels good to be here. We have the TV on this side with another window, more cabinets, details, and Mikey, let's go check out the bathroom. Like you said, it is definitely good size. Vanity right in the center with this geometric, interesting angled um, sink design. I have to get a close up. I don't know That's what you're right. talking about. Oh yeah. I don't think we've ever seen a uh, sink cut out that way before. No. And uh, you have some storage here, safe, full walk-in shower. I'm stepping inside. Everybody's seeing everything. You have your handheld, shower head, turn shampoo it, turn, mitch. Turn it on. No chance. Uh, you have your built-in shampoos. It's awesome. I got a Okay, my kids, I close it. Yeah. I mean, that has a strong seal. I had a hard time separating that. Well, you don't want those doors banging around while you're driving, you know? That's also true. We have our uh, toilet set up here, skylight ventilation. Ready, Mikey? Washer dryer. I was wondering. It's not even one unit. It's stacked. I mean, you get everything you need. And I know some of you may think that uh, four hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money uh, for a motorhome. But when you think about what you get, you basically get a one-bedroom apartment that you can travel and drive around the country. It's modern. It's elegant. And uh, I just feel like this is way more exciting than just getting a one-bedroom apartment. You can go to destinations, experience things, bring your surfboard and. I don't know, you know, uh, invite your friends, go explore outdoors. It's really exciting to me. I think I'm becoming an RV fan. Have you ever stayed in an RV before? Yes, I did. And I really enjoyed it. How long, how long, where'd you go? Uh, three days. I actually did it in Texas. Okay. Actually, me and my friend went to New Zealand for five weeks. We rented an RV there and drove all around the entire country. It was like one of the greatest five. experiences of my life. Oh, you enjoyed it? Yeah. But was it a big so, one? Something about being like in the middle of nowhere in an RV, it, it's just, I don't know. It's it like, feels good. It's like, it's like camping, but you have like electricity and TVs and stuff, it's great. To me, it's like yachting. It's yeah. a tight space, but well utilized, but you have everything you need here. And uh, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I mean, if you want us to do more RV tours, just let us know in the comment section below. Give us a like, couldn't thank them enough. Dennis Dillon RV for providing us these amazing motorhomes. Check them out in the description of this video and we'll see you guys next week.